so hello guys here is a one more uh, special problem on pentagon so let me read the problem first a regular pentagonal lamina of 25 mm side is resting on one of its corners is resting on one of its corners on hp okay while the side opposite to this corner touches vp okay this is the key point in this problem the side opposite to this corner touches vp if the lamina makes 60 degree with hp and 30 degree with vp draw the projections of the lamina but he has given side opposite to this corner touches vp so no need of this condition in fact it goes dummy here okay you 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 just do not uh, consider this since we already have a condition saying side opposite to this corner touches vp you consider this condition and this 60 degree with hp you can simply ignore this condition it will be automatically satisfied if we satisfy this particular condition okay so the first thing we have to do is to draw xy line and marking vp and hp that is already been done so first the regular pentagon lamina of 25 mm sides is resting on one of its corners so the corner should come towards my left so if the corner is coming towards my left means i should get the side towards my right so that is 25 so exactly 2.5 boxes in our grid books 25 mm 25 mm line okay and then in your uh, protra compass in your compass okay fine take your protractor and uh, measure for the angle what is the angle 72 no in pentagon so exactly it's 72 marker line in both the sides 72 as well 72 and draw two thin infinite lines the line should be thin okay now take your compass and the dimension as you know it is 2.5 right 25 so on these thin lines cut an arc of 2.5 and 2.5 okay so we got three sides using this point we can cut one more arc here and here using this one more we'll get the intersection so we got the complete pentagon right so join here join this and increase the thickness of complete pentagonal portion right so now we have to name this now this will be my a b c d and e so we got the first view next we have to get its front view for that we have to just project it we just have to project it forward sorry upward so once i project it upward this b and e will get it in a single line and d and c in a single line and you can just increase the thickness of this particular portion okay so now see here i can completely see a so this will be my a dash this i can see only b i cannot see e the e will be hidden because of b so b dash outside the bracket and e dash inside the bracket similarly here i can see c so c dash outside the bracket and d will be hidden because of c so this would be inside the bracket okay so this is my second view next <coughs> hp okay lamina makes an angle of 60 degree with hp so that means the inclination with respect to hp can be seen in vp so 
take the protractor and measure for 60 degree measure for 60 degree I'll get 60 here okay so now draw one thin line for it draw one thin line for it and this is a 60 degree line <coughs> now take your uh, compass measure a dash to b dash a dash first and cut the arc here and next measure b dash e dash to c dash d dash from here cut one more arc and you can just increase the thickness of this section and this is my a dash this is b dash e dash and this will be my c dash d dash right so we even got the third view so now how can we get the fourth view it's quite simple we have to project this particular thing downwards yes and we have to project this particular thing forward right project it forward make sure that all the projection lines are thin right so once you are done with the projections search for the common points <coughs> see a is here and a is here so this will be my a b and b so this will be my b c and c this will be my c d and d this will be my d e and e so this will be my e so join all the points now a to b b to c c to d d to e at last e to a right so we even got the fourth view so now what is the next inclination so he is telling it is 30 degree with HP but at the same time he has given one more condition side opposite to this corner touches VP so in this special problem let us not consider this 30 degree with VP let us straight away go with this straight opposite to this corner touches VP so which is the side which is opposite to the corner C here A is the corner on which it is resting on HP so the side opposite to this corner A is DC so now it should touch VP means the side DC should touch XY line but not from this diagram we have to consider this so this DC should touch the XY line so if we uh, satisfy that condition even this 30 degree with VP condition will also be satisfied so now what I'll do is I'll just mark D here I'll just mark D here and to take the compass I'll measure this DC I'll measure this DC and I'll cut on arc so this will be my C right now keeping DC as two points I'll cut for all other points now so now D to E I'll measure first D to E so D to E I'll cut the arc here fine so next C to E I'll measure C to E right? C to E and keeping it on C I'll cut one more arc so I'll get this as E right next I'll go for B first D to B I'll measure so D to B so D to B and next C to B I'll measure C to B so C to C to B so D to B 
I'll consider one more time since I'm not getting any intersection C to D to B C okay fine here is the point so this will be my B so even I got E and B at last we have to go for A no so now I'll take D to A first D to a d to a one point and next c to a c to a c to a so even i got the point a now i have to join for all the points so c d c to b d to e d to E. Next, A to B and A to E. Right. So we got this. Thus, that means the side opposite to the corner. A is the corner, and D C is the side opposite to the corner. A is touching V P here. Right. So we satisfied the condition. Now we have to. Project it upwards, all the corners. Okay, and then from here we have to project it forward. And now we have to search for <coughs> common points. A and A are meeting here, so this would be my A dash. Correct. Now B and B here, so this will be my B dash. C and C, so this will be my C dash. D and D will be meeting here. This will be my D dash, and E and E are meeting here, and this will be my E dash. At last, join for all the points. So E dash to B dash, B dash to C dash, C dash to E dash, e, C dash to D dash, D dash to E dash, and at last E dash to a dash so we also got the final view so this is about this problem hope you understood thank you